sometimes I wish I could go back. I wish I could go back in time. So you're watching this video today either because you are studying something computer science related, if you are interested in being among the top 0.1% of people in the tech industry. I have so much gems for you guys today. No one gave me, but I'm gonna give to you for free in this video. Five things I wish I knew before studying computer science. Contributing to open source projects. I'm gonna say it again. Contributing to open source projects. Open source projects look really, really good on your resume. Let's start by defining what an open source project is for those of you that might not understand. An open source project is a tool or a library that anyone can contribute to and use for free. Some examples are Mozilla Firefox, Android, TensorFlow AI library. All these tools are free and open for anyone to use and contribute to. So you can literally contribute to the code that millions of random people around the world are going to be using and this looks very very good on your resume if i was a hiring manager i'm going to give you the job on the spot a good and easy way to start is by applying to the google summer of code program and they literally pay you almost seven thousand dollars to contribute to open source code during the summer to open source code and open source documentation is one step to standing out being among that top 0.001 percent of engineers or students in the tech industry oh number two listen up like don't go anywhere don't go anywhere listen to this focus on data structures and algorithms and statistics and i'll tell you why in a second data structures and algorithms is the core <laughs> is the sole part of software engineering. If you don't want to be a software engineer, that's different. But data structures and algorithms, if you don't understand it, it's going to be very, very hard for you to pass an interview to get a job after you graduate. Love this course. Even though it's difficult, love the professor. Love the course. Not only pass it, but make sure you understand the topics very, very well. Because if you don't, it's going to catch up with you sooner or later. So data structures and algorithms. Next, statistics. I thought this course was trash. What am I going to use stats for? But stats is very, very important because it helps you understand data. Companies these days, in this era of like AI, you probably heard about the word AI, I'm sure. In this era of chat GPT, data. Data is one of the most important things companies are grasping for. You need some good understanding of statistics to understand data. Another thing I want to mention that is very important for you to learn is version control. If you haven't heard about Git, just go look it up. Git, G-I-T, is a version control system for storing and saving and contributing to a shared code. Any company you work at, anything you do, as long as you're contributing to code, you need to understand version control system very well. So data structures and algorithms, statistics, and version control management. I wish I did this while I was in college. Build something from the ground up. Build something impactful from the ground up. This could be starting a club. Maybe you founded the computer science club. Maybe you created a new process and you pitched it to your faculty for the way classes should be organized. Just do something impactful. It looks so good on your resume. In this era of chat GPT, Gemini, anyone can get good grades. These days, people can easily pass with AI and just like get the grades for free. But people who go out of their comfort zone to make meaningful change in college, it makes you top 1% automatically. They would pick that person over you if both of you had the same grades. It could be starting a club. It could even be building an app with your friends and publishing it on the uh, Play Store and the App Store. Do something meaningful and impactful that is not related to your curriculum or your coursework. Ooh, advice number four. No one told me, no one told me this. Get ready to keep on being a student. I'm gonna say it again. Get ready to keep on being a student. As a computer scientist, the industry changes very 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 fast you could be learning a new language today and like there are five new versions of it five years from now the learning never ends when you get your degree this is my degree right here just proof that i'm not lying and i have a computer science degree the learning never ends when you get your degree you have to keep on learning keep on learning 
to stay at the top is 0.001% of people in the tech industry. And that leads us directly into my final advice number five. Yes, you are a student, but it is very important you stay up to date with what is going on in the tech industry by listening to tech news. As a student, I wasn't doing this. I was just trying to pass my classes. I was just trying to get my A's. I wasn't like listening to tech news, podcast, business news. But as a student, it's good to be up to date on what's going on, which companies are doing well, which companies are doing poorly, what areas are companies investing in now, this Python class I'm doing right now, how is it gonna benefit me four or five years from now? It's very, very important to think about these things that impact your future. And what better way to do it by listening to news to see how the industry is performing and what companies are doing. In the description below, I'm gonna add a few of my favorite podcasts, where I get my tech news from, where I get updates from. I'm gonna give it to you for free even though no one gave it to me as a computer science student. I hope this video was very useful to you. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends because like, you don't want to gatekeep this advice. I could have kept it to myself, but I didn't. So share it to other people. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I will see you at my next video. Okay. <sighs> oh.